This is Twit. Uh, my question was, why do these Apple-approved uh, adapters that I have for charging simply not work all the time? Oh, they should. You have a lightning connector? Yes, I do. Uh, but you're not buying it from Apple. You're buying it from a third party. Well, uh, a Monoprice. Uh, okay, I'll explain this. Yeah. So... <laughs> Apple, in their infinite wisdom, makes non-standard adapters, as you probably noticed. And they say we have to because it's technically superior to USB, blah, blah, blah. But one of the things that, one of the upshots of that, of course, is that you can't make a duplicate one without licensing it from Apple, which is costly. One of the reasons that Apple genuine adapters are so expensive. Uh, now, Monoprice and others make two different kinds of lightning connectors. They're, the fully Apple-approved ones are going to be more expensive, and they will do syncing. They will do all the data. They'll do all the audio, all the other stuff. The non-Apple-approved ones merely will charge. Hmm. So okay. They, they well, I've had, I, I haven't tried to use it for data, just for charging. And, and if they don't work for charging, then they're bad cables. Uh, well, oh, wow. Oh, or you're not connecting it to something with appropriate juice. Well, that's what I'm wondering. I've, I've been able to use... Uh, uh, the my old uh, Android charging. Uh, ah, okay. So charge. let me explain no, that. That. Works. <laughs> yeah. that works sometimes. Right. So sometimes is the operating yeah. thing. So um, I'm I. USB adapters are not made alike. They have different wattages. So well, you can look, and it'll be on the fine print. You might have to use a magnifying glass to see it, but all adapters will talk about two factors, voltage and amperage. Uh, almost all of them are 5 volts. That's kind of the USB standard. So what varies is amperage. And you have to have enough amperage to charge an iPhone. I'm not. Sh that's why you generally it's recommended you use the charger that came with the iPhone. You can use it with any cable. It's not the cable. It's the charger itself, right? So iPads, for instance, need two, uh, two and a, need ten watts. So they need two amp chargers. I'm not sure what the iPhone five needs, but I would guess if you plug it into something and it's not charging, uh, then it's just not getting the wattage it needs from the charger you're using. So um, I'll do well, some. I've, I've used different combinations using the original Apple cable with another. Um, plug in the wall uh, charger. So the iPhone or, or charger is five by one, five volts by one watt. You can get, and a lot of times Android chargers are lower than than uh, uh, one amp. So you uh -huh. want to make sure that you have an, a w one amp charger. Okay. If you get anything less than an amp, you're, it won't charge the iPhone, or it'll charge it. Sometimes it trickle charges it very slowly. But, but you then need that little, uh, that little lightning bolt won't doesn't come, on. come on. That's right. Sometimes it says I'm not charging, and it is, in fact, trickle charging. But if you want to have a charger that is the equivalent of the iPhone charger, it, should, it can be more, by the way, because it will reject extra wattage. But it needs to be 5 volts by 1 amp. And many times the... Uh, the, the Android's uh, not. No. No. But many times it will come on the screen. This, this accessory is not... Uh, That's why. So a typical USB charger for Android might be as low as 0.5 amps. That just won't give you enough wattage. You want 5 volts by 1 amp for an iPhone, 5.1 volts by 2.1 amps for, an, for the late model iPads. They, they, need, they now need 12 watts. They used to need 10. So this is something, they all look the same. They all have a USB cable. They all, you know. <laughs> but if you read the fine print, look at the number of amps. And uh, that will tell you if it's got enough juice.